Welcome to Film and Page. I'm Dominic, and this is another episode of Road to Doom. So this is the other video that uh, is going to touch upon that interview with uh, Tom Brown, the art director for Denis Villeneuve's Dune. Uh, so there were some details scattered about. I didn't get to see the full interview. But one thing that was interesting, and uh, it was talked about in a video by Secrets of Dune. Uh, in his video, he talked about that uh, in that uh, interview it was revealed that the sandworms are not going to be fully revealed in the first half of uh, Dune, in part one of Dune. And that is going to be teased out. And he kind of made a comparison to the xenomorph from Aliens. And uh, the other comparison he made was Jaws as well. So it was an interesting video. Definitely go check that video out. And uh, the other thing is, uh, so I wanted to give my feelings on this about uh, them not showing sandworms in full in the first uh, movie. Because this is something that a lot of Dune fans uh, have been speculating on and wondering about, is what is the sandworms going to look like? And the only kind of vague hint we've gotten is, you know, the sandworms are going to have like this prehistoric or almost like uh, tyrannical look or whatever the, the, the word was they used, which I don't know, didn't really have a lot of meaning for me because like it's a giant worm <laughs> you know um but uh, how i feel about this well the only way this is gonna suck here's the only way this sucks if they don't show the full worm in the first dune movie is if the second one never gets made and we never get to see the sandworm in its full glory that's the only thing about this that would suck now, knowing that, uh, now if we were guaranteed the second Dune film, you know, I wouldn't, uh, this wouldn't concern me as much as it does because I would like to see what the full uh, worm looks like. And the other thing, this kind of goes against what uh, they've talked about, like Greg Frazier and others have talked about in interviews, that the first Dune movie will feel like a complete movie all of its own. Um, so that really doesn't work. You can't tease something and then not show it. In, in a completed film, right? If you tease, it's like Chekhov's gun. If you show the gun on the wall, you have to use it at some point in the play. And uh, also, I find that really hard to, how are they gonna make it feel like a complete film when it's only half of a story, right? Uh, so that, when they say that, I, I'm always a little bit skeptical about it. But that's the only way it concerns me is if we don't get the other Dune movie doesn't get made, so then we never see what the worm would have looked like, Denny Villeneuve's worms, in its full glory, Sandworms. Because uh, in the 1984 David Lynch film, when it came up, you didn't get to see the whole worm that time either. It was just a mouth that came up and swallowed the spice harvester. And uh, Secrets of Dune kind of speculated. The, he talked about two times to see the worm in the first half of the book, depending on where they end the movie within the storyline of the book kind of thing is uh, when that giant worm swallows the spice harvester. So it could be something like what they did in the David Lynch film, where the worm comes up. You don't really get to see the worm. It just kind of swallows that harvester and goes back down. Well, they escape in the uh, ornithopter. And uh, the next time you see the worm, and you get to see it full this time in the David Lynch film anyway, is when uh, Paul Atreides and Lady Jessica is getting chased through the desert. Uh, and they're trying to seek the shelter of rock to escape the sandworm after that after they crashed on uh, on the desert floor in the uh, Harkonnen ornithopter when they escaped. So there's that scene. Uh, so then that's probably going to be in the first movie for sure because I think they're going to end it after that. So you might get catch glimpses of the worm uh, because in the video the, he talked about that uh, Tom Brown said they. they made a full partial part of the worm uh, that they're going to be using for certain scenes and stuff. And then the other thing that was interesting, there's not nothing about it is going to be CGI. So at least for the first movie, so that kind of indicates that you're not going to see the full worm. Now in the 2000 miniseries, that same scene where the sandworm came up and destroyed the harvester, in that scene, they actually revealed the full worm in that scene. That's the first time you get to see the full worm in the 2000 miniseries is that scene when it swallows that spice harvester. It comes right up, you get to see the full thing. It comes way up out of the desert and it almost sucks down the ornithopter into its mouth. So they show it in its full glory. So that's the only way it would, uh, you know, um, 
concern me if we don't get the second movie. If, we, if you know you're getting the second movie, then it's not a big deal because it's not really like two movies. It's like one big long four or five hour movie, really. Because, uh, yeah, that, that's the one thing fans have really been speculating about as far as things look is the worm because the worms are like a big deal. It's a very important thing, a thing in, in the Dune uh, story. You know, it's the uh, it's Frank Herbert's version of the dragon that is guarding the gold and the gold is the spice, right? And over the decades, ever since Dune came out, there's been all these different illustrations and paintings and stuff. Here is like an early one by John Schooner. This is what the worms, like the first time you saw pictures of the worms, they look like this from the original Dune books. That's pretty much how they looked in the David Lynch film too. They look pretty much like that painting there. And then uh, there's always this one. I always like this painting of this sandworm. That's actually from the science fiction book club version of uh, Dune Messiah and Children of Dune, where they put it together in one book. Uh, you know, another really good painting. You know, the worm is a little bit different, has like a different looking mouth there than, uh, you know, the John Schooner one. And then there's the really strange one that H.R. Giger did. And, uh, you know, it looks really freaky, but uh, I don't know what that worm, <laughs> I don't know what that worm is trying to swallow there, but it looks quite scandalous. I don't know if that, if, I don't know if that's what uh, a Harkonnen spice harvester looked like, <laughs> but it, it, it does look quite scandalous. But, it, but I mean, it's a cool painting, <laughs> but there's some, a lot of, it's not even really subliminal. It's pretty on the nose there, <laughs> image. Uh, I like this painting, but it, I know it makes me laugh every time. So, you know, there's been a lot of different interpretations of the sandworms over the years. And so everyone's really curious as to what Denis Villeneuve's inter interpretation of the sandworms are going to be. Uh, and it makes sense that they're not going to show it, you know, all of, you know, only bits and pieces in the first movie. Because it's the first part where you're going to set stuff up and you basically don't want to blow your wad, all your wad in the first, uh, first half of the story kind of deal. So that's everything I got to say in this video. Let me know what you think in the comments section, and I will see you at the next one. I'd like to say thank you to all of my subscribers. I appreciate you all in helping this channel grow. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Also, don't forget to hit the bell icon so you'll be notified when new videos are uploaded.